Hi everyone, I am back with a quick haul to share and happy mail. Yes, so first the haul, I did go by Hobby Lobby to pick up the paper that they had on sale this past weekend. And I believe it was um, Erica, who is Scrap Diva 29. Hey Erica, total enabler alert here with this um, paper pad. This is the Rose Quartz by um, Prima really pretty paper um, just muted or you know pink and gray all throughout kind of look like mixed media that looks like just to me like a splash of just I don't know just a wash of color I love these um, like they look like they're water colored uh, feathers right here look like it's mixed media and here is the map of the world um so it's, i think it's four pages each and then this one is a pretty whitewash here really pretty pink um, and gray uh, pink roses gray leaves So here's a darker pattern, dark background, and this looks like a crackle effect. And then here is the wood grain. So it can be turned this way. The wood grain, some cut aparts here, and then the pink here, and that look like water droplets back there to me. So, I believe that's it. Yeah, that is it for this paper collection. Really pretty. It was 50% off. So, what, 10 bucks? Yeah, 10 bucks from Hobby Lobby. Then I picked up this Summer Fun collection, which had, is by Echo Park. And this is the vibrant pinks and you know, really a, a nice summery collection. Got the flamingos, the pineapples, some cars. Um, they have the stickers on the back. Really cute. I love this little scooter right here with the basket. Really cute. So then I picked up the floral collection. Um, they had this in the 12 by Cartabella. This is the 12 by 12. Um, I didn't see the 6x6 collection for this. I like to get both sizes. But this is like the pink and the black stripe. Um, really pretty colors. So, um, alphabets on the back, stickers on the back. So, some really nice, really pretty colors. Um, and I believe they are double-sided as well. Then the last 12 by 12 pack I picked up was the In Bloom collection by My Mind's Eye. So some pretty gold, black and gold. This is the little sticker, um, 6 by 12 sticker sheet they have on the back with tags. You can kind of layer those. So really, really pretty. And here go all the patterns across. Here, so the stripe, I, I love the stripe. I'm into the stripes and polka dots, I guess. Really pretty collection. Um, then they did have, I did pick up this Just Be You um, six by six paper pad by Echo Park. So here it is. I can do a quick flip through for this. Some pink, green, the little cactus. And I believe I have this punch, the little cactus punch from Hobby Lobby. Some more icons. So these are double sided. I like this plaid. And some more stripe. This is a gray stripe. Really pretty paper collection. Little bicycles, flowers, more pink, green. I think it repeat. So yeah, that's the Just Be You collection. Another pretty summer 
Um, and then this is the Summer Fun. This is the 6x6 six six collection for hair. So, I'm wondering if they are... Oh, that's cute. Really cute plaid, pink polka dots, the cars, the pineapples. So I do like to get both sizes because of the scale, depending on what size um, card or if I'm going to do a different project. So yeah, I like these. This page is so pretty polka dots I like that one too that's like retro or something the polka dots there okay the cars the flamingo with the leaves that's a wood grain the little ice cream cone that's a plain paper hmm it's cute so yeah, this is a really cute paper collection. The large one did not have plain paper, I don't believe. Um, and then I saw this. This is the Metropolitan Girl collection. Look at her. She is so cute. She got her little shopping boxes, little hat boxes there. So let me try to open this up. really cute these are more muted tones so for the little shops the houses the cityscape that's the cityscape and they are double-sided as well kind of hang these are hangers shopping bags purses so that's that mod retro mod look some cute shoes. Look at the dress forms and dresses. Really cute. I like this paper pad. I hadn't seen it, so it repeats itself. Oh, wait. Look at the girl on the bike. Yeah. And then the back side. Pretty much. Right, polka dots. So I really like that paper. Um, and then I found on clearance this bow, and I I haven't used this bow, made this bow before, but it was on clearance for three um, eighty nine, which is the Echo Park, I mean Echo EK Success, EK Success um, bow maker. So I, if Anybody's ever used it? I'm gonna have to look some, for some videos to see it. Um, I did pick up this uh, scissors die. It was on clearance, and this is called the Pondering Words by Tim Holtz Alterations line. And then I saw this. I used a 40% off coupon for this. Um, I do have a stamp pad, and I do have the Misty. I, I don't know. I do because I do have um, rubber stamps. I will use this to stamp on. But I got this because I want to try to see if it's going to make a difference. I thought I had a different um, stamp pad, but I don't know what happened to it. So I picked that up. Um, next, I want to share some happy mail that I received um, in the mail. I entered into well, I actually comment on a video from Miss Omega, and I've been following her channel, and she showed some um, cards, stamps, and dots collections um, that she has, or she purchased from the UK, and I love some the UK magazines and dies and everything, and so she had um, a little giveaway on her channel. And I did leave a comment, and I actually won her giveaway. One of her giveaways, which is the Cricut Splendid Soiree um, by Anna Griffin. 
so I look forward to making some cards and projects with this. I'm so excited. And then she included um, a cuddle, um, an embossing folder, which is the Poppy, um, another Anna Griffin um, embossing folder. Really nice. Really appreciate it because she shipped this. This was something that she received. Um, I think it was in a mystery box, and I've never done a mystery box. I kind of didn't know what to expect, but I, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to do a mystery box. But this is a duplicate for her, and so she decided to give it away. This one and another one that someone else won. And I got my card. Thank you, Miss Omega. I appreciate you giving away and your your gifts. I mean, oh. And I will, and this is a cute card that she made. Look at that. So, so cute. Just a nice little thank you card that she created. And I thank you so much for um, sharing your, um, your crafts with me and everything. And thank you all for stopping by and watching my video. And I'll be back to share a project that I created using some Stampin' Dyes that I made with the UK Magazine uh, sets. So thank you all, and I hope you all have a great crafty week. Bye.